Hello and welcome to Kenyan Secrets. Mac Almutua, a spokesperson for the Azimiola Umoha One Kenya Alliance, stated on January 14 that President William Ruto is currently attempting to weaken Deputy Regathi Gachagua. On Saturday, Mutua argued that President Ruto views Gachagua as a stumbling block and wants to maintain his influence as the Mount Kenya kingpin prior to the 2027 general election. The seasoned lawyer stated that the DP is being used to subdue Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mutavati, with whom the latter is allegedly engaged in a Cold War. Although at Musalia Mutavati, the so-called gentleman of Kenyan politics, has rarely prevailed in a significant political battle mano a man, he will shock at Rigathi, because that is what at Williams Ruto wants. Mr. Ruto wants to be Mount Kenya's kingpin. Mr. Gachagua must be neutered as a result. Prof. Macau Mutua, at Macau Mutua, January 14, 2023 Gachagua wants to fill the political leadership void in the Mount Kenya region, created by the resignation of former President Uhuru Kenyatta. After the DP read the riot act to Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja about his plans to move Matadus out of the city center, the two leaders, both of whom have ambitions to lead the country in the coming years, have traded barbs. The recent modifications that President Ruto made in an executive order, 2023, have been interpreted as a recent effort to tame the Gachagua Mutavati conflict. Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mutavati will oversee liaison between the executive and the legislature, while Gachagua will oversee the working relationship between the national and county governments. In addition to carrying out duties that are housed in the office of the deputy president, DP Gachagua will be in charge of overseeing reforms to the coffee sector that are being led by the Coffee Subsector Reforms Implementation Standing Committee. The constitutional duties of the office include serving as the president's principal assistant and leading the Intergovernment Budget and Economic Council, IBEC. Gachagua will also be in charge of the International Development Partnership Coordination and the Honors Advisory Committee for the National and County Governments. Additionally, President Ruto gave Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mutavati the responsibility of overseeing a dockety dubbed Government Delivery Services, which was supposed to take the place of the Presidential Delivery Unit during the time of his predecessor. Mutavati's duties were also stated by the head of state to include coordinating with Prof. Kither Kandiki's Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government to oversee and carry out government projects, programs, and policies. In addition, he is responsible for chairing and overseeing the national legislative agenda for all state departments and ministries. To add, the much-desired competency-based curriculum was unexpectedly abandoned by the Kenyan government precisely 10 days prior to the contentious school resumption. Today, January 14, 2023, the Kenyan government confirmed via the Ministry of Education that junior secondary schools will not be housed in all public primary schools as previously stated. Starting this month, only public and private primary schools with more than 45 students transferring to the junior secondary school will be home to junior secondary schools, according to the Kenyan government's announcement. Kenyans received this shocking news just today, as the government made a significant reversal toward CBC learners. Parents and guardians now have almost 10 days until the month-long reopening of all primary and secondary schools. Our questions right now are about the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, CBC, which has been facing numerous difficulties as parents wait to see how the government will direct them, particularly for sixth-grade students who took their exams last year. Finally, one of Kenya's top police officers, Jafeth Coombe, made the happy announcement a few hours ago that the government